Hello and welcome. Today we're going to see how the DS28E18 One Wire 2 Spy and I2C Bridge makes connecting offboard peripheral devices faster and easier. So what's One Wire? Well, that's Maxim's interconnect technology that uses, well, just one wire plus ground to carry power and data to peripherals, both on the board and off the board. Devices on a one wire bus are addressable and establish a two way communication path back to the host microcontroller. And now, the DS28E18 lets you attach I2C and SPI peripherals to the one wire bus. Now, here's what makes the DS28E18 great. If you're controlling a peripheral off board from a microcontroller, how many wires does it take? I mean, really. Well, you might think I2C is two wires, but you need to provide power and ground, so that's really four wires. And SPI, well, that's even worse. Four signal wires plus power and ground for a total of six wires. Maxim's one-wire technology carries both power and data over just one wire, and that plus ground means you can connect your peripheral with just one pair of wires. Now, think about that. You don't need any external power source for your peripheral. The DS28E18 derives power directly from the one-wire circuit and provides it to your I2C or SPI peripheral device. And what about distance? Well, with I2C, you may be able to extend the bus one meter or so, and with SPI, it's even less. But one wire? You can extend a one wire bus for 100 meters or even more. It was designed from the beginning to be robust over long distances. Now, when thinking about remote sensing applications, you know, power is always a concern. The DS28E18 helps reduce power by buffering commands in an internal sequencer. The host microcontroller can then send multiple I2C or SPI commands as a sequence. And in that way, the host microcontroller can sleep while the DS28E18 feeds commands to the peripherals as required. Another issue in some applications is the small address space of I2C devices. Seven bits, that's all the address space you get with I2C. 128 possible addresses. And for most I2C devices, you get a selection of just a few of those addresses for any given part. Well, what if you want several of the devices on the bus, but they all want to respond to the same address? The DS28E18 solves that problem because each device has a unique ROM ID with a 48-bit serial number. No two devices that come out of the factory have the same ID. So you can attach lots of devices to the network without ever worrying about address collision. Now finally, think about how the DS28E18 reduces system complexity. You know, it's just one pin on your microcontroller, not two as needed on an I2C system or four for SPI. And other systems that can extend a bus for 100 meters likely require multiple chips on both the host end and on the peripheral end. But with a DS28E18, the host side is mostly just software with a little interfacing hardware. And the peripheral side, well, that's just the DS28E18 and that's all. Today, I'm going to show you the DS28E18 in action. Now, in the middle of this demo board is a touch screen, and it's connected to a Raspberry Pi single board computer. Now, what you can't see behind the board is that we've connected the USB port on the Raspberry Pi to a USB to one wire adapter. And now, any communications that are sent over the USB port to the adapter will be relayed to the one wire bus. Below the touch screen is a hank of twisted pair cable. That's what's carrying the one wire signaling. Now, I'm not absolutely sure how much wire is here, and I'm not actually prepared to unroll it to find out, but let me tell you, it's quite a lot of wire. Attached to the one wire bus are three peripherals. At the bottom is a UV sensor that interfaces using I2C. At the top left is a motion sensor, actually a three-axis accelerometer that connects using SPI. And at the top right is a temperature humidity sensor that interfaces on an I2C connection. 
Now, let's take a look at that last module just a, a little more closely. As you can see, it actually consists of three parts. First, there's a connector block. The one-wire connection comes in on the twisted pair and it terminates at these screw terminals. The other side of the connector block terminates in the connector that attaches to the DS28E18 board. The DS28E18 converts the one-wire communications to I2C and talks to a third board that contains the temperature and humidity sensor. Now, notice that the only connection consists of the one-wire twisted pair. There is no separate power connection. The one-wire bus carries both power and data. Now let's go back to the touch screen. You can see that I'm running the sensor application, and down here at the bottom of the screen, you can see that the application is connected to the USB to one wire adapter. But can we talk to the peripheral devices over that big, nasty looking hank of wire? Well, let's try the temperature and humidity sensor first. Now, as you can see, it's reading about 26 degrees C and about 50% humidity, so not too unpleasant. And if I put my finger on the sensor, you can see the temperature rise. Well, good. Apparently, I'm still alive. I'll touch the home button and try the next sensor, the motion sensor. Now, as you can see, it's reading 1G in the X direction and just about zero in the Y and Z directions. But I'm going to take this sensor off the board and just let it hang. Now it's reading about 1G in the Y direction and much less in the X and Z directions. So obviously the accelerometer is working. Now let's try the UV sensor. Now as you can see, there's not much UV in the room where I'm filming this and I really don't want to take this whole arrangement outdoors into the sunlight. But fortunately, I have a UV flashlight with me. Let's see if we can stimulate a reaction. Well, yes. As a matter of fact, when we shine a UV flashlight on the sensor, we go from almost no reaction to a pretty high response. Now, do you see what we've done here? We've connected three sensors with different interfaces over a common one-wire bus over a length of wire that would be, well, impossible for either I2C or SPY on their own. But just think about how the DS28E18 can simplify sensor interconnection for your next project. Hey, just get in touch with Maxim for more information about the DS28E18 and for evaluation kits. And we can't wait to see what you create.